The 2021 Wings to Fly and Elimu Scholarship selection in the Rift Valley region took place throughout the month of June. Community Scholars Selection Boards and Community Scholars Advisory Committees sat to select the Wings to Fly and Elimu Scholars by first sorting application forms submitted to shortlist candidates for interviews. In the criterion for shortlisting, some of the candidates invited were orphans who received the highest solid marks in the just concluded Kenya Certificate of Primary Education exams. Brian Kiprotich hails from Mumetet village in Tarbo, Uasin Gishu County. I joined Sambot Primary School. Then I came and joined AIC Taros, where I learned to this time. Our life has become hard. We sometimes slept without eating nothing and sometimes stay at home almost a month without going to school because my mother don't have any funds for me to go to school. Brian sat the 2021 KCPE exams and scored an impressive 374 marks. My favorite subject is science and maths. From choosing these subjects, I want to be a great accountant. My family to come and live comfortable and next to help those who need this help. Even me now, I'm needy and I need this help. So I know the bitterness to hustle and all the bitterness to work hard. This is a single mother who still has performed very well, but from our assessment, we learned that uh, they survive by one meal per day, or they can even go without. They are the caretakers of someone's land, and uh, we've learned that uh, they're not getting anything actually. It's a struggling family. The wings to fly to the community I come from, it has a great impact. There are those children who've come out supported by wings to fly, and there are now people in the community that the community can depend on them. So actually it's making a great impact in the society, and we are just, as a community now, we're just requesting that uh, may the wings to fly grow. In the southern parts of Kerio Valley in Elgeo Marraquet County lies Kimarer village. The CSSB members have embarked on home verification visits. The map they follow leads them to the paternal home of 14-year-old Brian Kibet, who sat the 2021 KCPE and scored 380 marks. Kibet leads the board to their one-room house their father rented after he was retrenched.
Baba Brian had been working with a company which collapsed as a, a loader and when everything went disarray he relocated back home and he lived with his aging parents in a very poor condition and actually when we visited the home they are very needy living in a very poor structure and we, later we established that actually he's renting a house, a Mabati house in a nearby center and when we came actually the same conditions are very very bad. Kibet's leadership skills were spotted early in school and he was appointed the dormitory prefect. The first time that I met him was uh, in a condition that uh, he could not afford to clear his school fees and uh, that time he had a problem with the own background on the, the resources and uh, some teachers assisted him at the beginning because we saw him, he was a pride boy and uh, he loved studies. We looked at Brian and he used, used to, to move us in his leadership skills and the way he conducted the school. So we really uh, looked at his uh, leadership that he portrayed uh, good leadership skills. So, uh, for the last uh, time that I've been here, we have not had a student who has been sponsored by Wings to Fly, but we pray that this be the first one to be sponsored by Wings to Fly. Kanyarkot settlement is situated 353 kilometers northwest of Nairobi in the Northern Rift. This is home to Mika Lopore, who lives here with his single mother and four siblings. I started my primary education at Kis Primary School up to Standard 6. Then I was transferred to Lokchar Mix, where I sat for my KCP in 2019. I got 346 marks, but because of lack of school fees, I was not able to proceed to the next level. I went to Kanyarkwa to repeat. I sat for my KCP in 2020, where I got 383 marks. We really thank the Wings to Fly group and all the people who donate towards it because uh, many boys and girls have now joined secondary schools since it began. In fact, from Transoya we have more than 20 and now joined universities abroad and it's just because of winds to fly. Lopore sat the 2021 KCPE and aspires to become an engineer. It is good now that equity through wings to fly, they have come in to help our students. And I hope if this boy will be assisted, actually we, we shall have somebody who will be a beneficial to the community. 250 kilometers northwest of Nairobi lies Tuluapmoi village in Kipkelion, Kericho County. This is the home of Nevi Chemtai, where she lives with her mother, Nancy Chalangat, and her siblings. I went to Zion Lights Academy and in KCP results I got 370. I passed my KCP because I, I used to do practice because practice makes perfect. I was doing everyday practice doing mathematics and other subjects, and that's why I pass in case. I used to study during the weekend, and we make group discussion at home with neighbors, who was also the candidates. When I finish my studies, I like to become a neurosurgeon. I like this neurosurgeon because I want to save the life of people who are dying. Nefi, I am going to go to school. I am going to go to school. I when I finish my studies and become a neurosurgeon, I will buy the land for my parents to build them a good house and also help the neighbors who are. A number of children 
who are from poor family, who they have performed very well, and they have scored good marks to go to universities. They have given thanks to MasterCard Foundation for what they have achieved, as well as they have really uh, changed their families in terms of and infrastructures and in terms of the standard of living. Shalin Chaserek hails from Koloa village in Baringo East. She first attempted KCPE in the year 2013. Her performance was below expectations, so her father betrothed her to a suitor. Living in poverty with an abusive husband and two children led Chaserek to rethink her options. <laughs> So, wakati alikubali ndio nikaanza kuasa mambo na uniform itakuwa aje. Nikaenda kwa hiyo process ya uniform na hiyo pesa kidogo nilikuwa nayo. Nikapima uniform na nikashonea tu kwa siku moja hiyo uniform, nikanunua vitabu. Na ile mande yenye nikaambiwa ni report shule nikakuja hivyo. Mwalimu akanikaribisha. Na wakaniuliza utaingia class 8 ama class 7, nikawaambia class 8. So ndio wakaniuliza ulikuwa unatoka class 7 nikawaambia hapana. Na wakaniambia utawezana na class 8. Nikamwambia nitaweza nitangangana. Kitu ambacho kikilinifurahisha kwa huyu msichana, ni msichana ambaye alianza kwa BD. Na mpaka hata sisi wote kama walimu tuliweza kufurahia. Na hata wanafunzi wale wengine. E, kila mmoja alifurahia kazi yake. Aliendelea mpaka alikuwa na washauri wale e, wanafunzi wenzake. Chesarek performed well in her studies and managed to garner 358 marks in her KCPE examination. She aspires to become a teacher. Wakati changamoto ile nisukuma nikuje shule, uh, nikapata mwalimu ambaye alikuwa wa karibu akanikubali na amenipa msukumo wa kuwa mwalimu pia kama yeye na nitakuja kusaidia wengine pia ambao watakuwa na shida kama yangu mimi. I want to appreciate Wings to Fly and especially the Equity Bank for the way they have come to approach this issue and especially to help our scholars, our young people who have been in school. Uh, nevertheless, I know there are also some other partners who are willing to support such a young people. They can come to the Equity Bank to collect some data so that they can support some other children who have been left out. Kisher Morwak is located north of the Masai Mara Game Reserve. The Narok West CSSB members are looking for the home of Lato Merero, who scored an impressive 397 marks in her KCP exams, in spite facing major challenges. I live with my mother. I lost my father in 2016, and I have nine brothers. I have four sisters and five brothers. My elder brother is in Form 2, and the one the other one dropped in class 8 since of lack of school fees. I and my twin brother, we finished class 8 and my, my mother was to give me to be married off and my brother was to go and look after so that we'll get school fees. When I was a kid, I was a kid and 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 I was a kid. The school fraternity of Mara Girls Leadership School is proud of Lata's achievements and wish her well. She's a leader. Actually, when I was even giving the awards for 2019, she's one of the girls whom we gave best in leadership. She is gifted and a very needy girl, but I know given an opportunity to go to school and to learn, she'll go places. No sooner had the Wings to Fly CSSB home verification visits were concluded than the Community Selection Advisory Committee, CSAC, started the verification visits to select Elimu scholarship beneficiaries. Naserian Lepartelag hails from Lesua village in Samburu County. Nasserian sat the 2021 KCP exams and scored 281 marks. My favorite subject is English.
kuishi na Kiswahili kwa sababu hiyo haikuwa na calculation yoyote na ni easy to understand wazazi wangu wanafanya kazi ya vibarua kama kupalilia mashamba ndio utupate kitu ya kula wasi kwa afford school fees kwa sababu hata hiyo pesa ni kidogo ya kibarua tunapitia shida kwa sababu hatuna mpusi ngombe hata shamba na hatuna ya kuishi na mwenyewe sisi sasa mashamba yamegawiliwa na manyoya anaanza kufence na inamaanisha tatufukusa tu. Wakati wa kana bani yetu ni leo tusige. Ni mngera ine nsapa. Na ngera ye unini. Kio na baki manya rangau niki atapagoso ni gata. Kor na bera sulpo ko tenero. Nugu do yu nugu riar nugu bangar na rok. Niki bi bi gide ine mutuchu kuchu nyana gal tongana nugu chu nyisi aga yo nugu bona ka manyane. Modu moda bani gata en kop na tento na lijam balal tongana le kya manya ina ko poga ngai. Kau tak dapat yel tu ngah mata nado ungkap, nanti nanti tu dulu naga tak marna, nanti sengah naga ni nikiti yo, mungkin ada nado yang ini negero yo, mungkin ada lampa. Buku samburu sentro, waktu aku nasida, waktu zaman ni there before they used to have animals that belong to them, tapi ni kau sabi vita i, i vita ya, ya ha waktu ambil warna isu kundani, i vita kundani, i mefanya baka waktu saya izin mas, kini nukut alu mutu aku nang ngombe elfu moja. Kesho asubuhi yote imeenda hata wengine watu wamuliwa watu wamuliwa so hapo hapa utakuta mama wengi hapa they are single because wazee wao wameenda vita kupigana wameuliwa so hapa kuna changamoto kubwa sana The Syrian's performance in school caught her teacher's attention and she was appointed the head girl We had mentored her and at the same time being at school and also being a, a leader, we made her know that apart from being given that position of leadership at school, she had to put her studies at front so that uh, the leadership could not interfere with her education. The boys and girls who have now been admitted to the Wings to Fly and the Limo programs are but a few of thousands of beneficiaries selected across Kenya. Jacinta Rogoro. Next we have John Lemiso. John Lemiso. Thank you. Next we have Christopher Nzala of Naivasha Sub-County. Masi Chilaga at Kogo. You are not only gifted, but you have a scholarship that pays your school fees, a scholarship that pays uh, for your pocket money, a scholarship that has your shopping. You never lack anything. You are like any child of any Kenyans who have the resources. Two things come into play. Everything is available to you and you are gifted. The temptation to become proud and arrogant is very, very high. So the way to manage that and to keep yourself away from trouble is to embrace humility. If you are really gifted to manage yourself, the only value that helps you and creates the appropriate guardrails to keep you out of trouble is humility.